question is, am I black enough for you? Maybe we got a crack out in their family. Oh, only me, huh? Roy Gerber tells me, I'm so sorry, my friend. You're a clean comedian, you're funny, but you cannot make it in Hollywood because you're a black comedian and you're too clean. He said, you too clean to be successful in Hollywood. What is blackness and who defines it? The definition of what it means to be a black American? That has been blurry since the beginning of the Republic. I remember when I was really young, I was hanging out in like, uh, I think it was Red Hook with some friends and I went over to someone else's house. And these little kids were like, cracker, cracker, pointing at me, cracker. And I didn't know what that meant. I bring to that point that I was telling everybody when Puffy won the Cody Fragrance Award, I said, do you understand that white America has just said they want to smell like a Negro? Do you know how major that is? Who is the blackest man in America? My name is Eleanor Johnson, and uh, I'm the mother of Jomo Johnson. Jomo is my eldest. And this whole Jomo Johnson situation, that was the first case I was put on in the state of New York. And there's one thing I believe in, it is law and order. And I worked with Jomo for several years at the university. We started around the same time. We were young, we were black, and we were around a whole bunch of white folks, so we kind of clicked. I didn't know who he was when he stepped to me, but uh, everyone in the room thought he was some kind of big deal. Once, we were sitting at a Knicks Lakers game near the court in the second row. Jomo had on a baseball cap. This older white man asked us if we were rappers. And I, I was really upset when they started to paint him as a terrorist. Uh, you know, uplifting the black community doesn't mean that you're tearing other communities down. My supervisor, Michael Murray, was the one that brought Jomo Johnson to my attention. He told me about this black college professor that was moving around the country, revving up Negroes way past where they need to be. Jomo Johnson is an articulate, educated, Brilliant man with a vibrant following. It's no wonder people wanted him silenced. A Kevin Herewood concoction. Produced by Kevin Herewood and Stephen Booth. Dreaming soon.